Hey y'all, it's Ladybug, Lady of the House, back with another video. Today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to do this little viral trend, the digital playlist or the glass playlist. So keep watching and hope you enjoy. Hey y'all, so back with another video. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make the little suspended playlist or the, the, the glass playlist. I made this one last night and I recorded that whole process, but then I just deleted all those clips because it was a lot of things I did wrong. So, starting first this morning and I'm going to show you the proper way to do it. This one I did on the 8x10. The new one we're about to do on 11x14, so we're going to have way more space. Excuse Liv and barking in the background, but yeah, I'm going to show you how to do this. So, first thing you want to do is get your um, playlist image. Uh, I know the Spotify one, you can get that online, you can get the PNG, or you can go to um, Etsy and purchase them. I have an awesome brother, so he does graphic design. He converted all this for me, got me the Apple font, um, did what I needed him to do. So I went to the email, downloaded everything. That's the actual album artwork that's going to be in another part of this video. Saved it, came over to my software, opened it up in here. Um... Keep your proportions the same. That's why I messed up it yesterday. Um, and that's why on that one, all of my circles look oval. And my triangles, they look like elongated. 7 by 7 of course, it's going to give you some uh, extra inches over here. That's fine. Because we're working on the 11 by 14 So, once you have that in, keep your properties the same. We um, ungrouped everything, broke it down, and if you notice, two of the icons are missing there. One is missing there. That's because we're going to do that in red. Right now, we're doing this in black, and you can use your oracle for that. So, once you ungroup everything, I have them over here. I have my red layer, I have my black. Red is hidden. Everything's right here. Group it back together. Lock it, and we're going to cut. Okay, I have my vinyl already secured into my plotter, cutter, plotter, yeah. Uh, my speed is down to 10 and my pressure is down to 10. I also made that mistake last night because both of them were up entirely too high. So, make sure all of that's together. Gonna come back up here. We're gonna go up here to our software. Click cut. Make sure that's how you want it. When you're working with Oracle, Sign Vinyl, Outdoor Vinyl, anything of that nature, do not invert your image. When you're working with HTV, Heat Transfer Vinyl, you always invert your image. That way you'll be able to read it. And if it's easier for you to see what I'm talking about than hear it, go back on my channel and look at the um, DIY Christmas stocking video. And you'll see there I explain the difference. You can actually see it. And you'll be able to see it if you compare that to this. So, everything is how we want cut and let it do what it does okay so I cut out all my black and as you can see I had to ungroup everything and group this separate because I mismeasured my paper and this didn't cut the first time so I just cut that out separate um, and I'll show you how to place it together so um, I really don't need it right now. I can delete that. So, we're going to go over here. Make that visible. I got my red paper loaded in. Wait, let me like this. And, go to print. Cut. I mean... <laughs> Okay, y'all, so we got that cut. So we're going to go over here to our um, file explorer. And I'm going to go right here. It'll be in your downloads or your recent files. And I'm going to go to my image, double click it, open it up. Wait on it to load. All right, so come up to the print. Make sure your printer is correct. Once this load, I'm going to select my paper, type first, glossy photo paper, size, letter, 
and the photo is going to be okay. Okay, look. <laughs> five by seven. Make sure everything is how you want it. Boom, 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 boom. And print. Okay, y'all. Uh, so, I got my cutter. Got my album art white printed out. What we're going to do? Not like that. I'm just going to use the clip, line it up with the shadow. This will help me. If I don't get these. Okay. And that's just that. That's just what's going on. That's just what's going on. That's just what's going on. <laughs> Lock this back because this is sharp. No. I'm just going to lay this right here to see how it all looks. And y'all, that's going to look so good. I'm going to cut here just because that's excess. And then this is why I had to cut the song name out. Last night, what I did, I put my iPod all over the front of the picture. This time, I'm just going to go around the corners with my iPod. Then I'm actually going to go on the back of the picture with it. Alright y'all, so I lied, but stay tuned to the end of the video and you'll see how I did it this time. Um, and, let me see. What did I get? But right now, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take dry erase marker and I'm gonna mark on here where I want my image to go. So... I'm gonna line it up with my grid. It's five by seven. We're gonna go. The and three. You're going to murder me for the greater good. You enjoy being Knox as much as I do. One, two, three. Then you let your feelings get in the way. Flip it over. This is now the back because you're just gonna place your image there. Flip this over. Again, line it up with your grid. Boom. So, take this. Take your contact paper. Measure it out to fit this the best you can. And we're going to reverse weave. So, what we're going to do, we're going to take this. I'm just going to fit this right here. Taking a squeegee or whatever. And come on top there. So, I got my glass cleaned out. Um, got this part. We reverse weed it, so we everything from the back. Do this. And I'm just going to line this up with these dots that we put right there that our image is going to float in between. And then place your next piece there. I got it lined up. Everything is lined up. All aligned. And then we're going to put this on top of it. And switch. Okay, so for this, when I'm putting the name underneath there, I'm just going to click this little extra bit of paper so it don't pick up nothing above it then go back over with that and squeegee it okay guys so this is the finished product you can overlook the fingerprints because i am gonna wipe this down really good before any pictures are taken and it is seen with any other eyes but 
this is what you end up with um my little shuffle sign didn't cut completely well but when you're cutting out smaller images that doesn't always work to the best of your advantage so um for the picture the only thing i did i cut out the picture same um size as the last one i messed the other one up because i got a piece of tape on the front but what i did i put double-sided tape along the border laid my um glass down flat and then i lined it up on the grid on my table and placed it on put the sheet over it and used the squeegee to get most of the air bubbles out of the tape just like i did with the vine finish and it's complete I think everybody that sees this is going to love it.